With more and more major companies facing security threats, the need for skilled cyber pros grows. Here in Colorado, there are more than 10,000 job openings in that industry. Well, now students at CU Boulder are harnessing the skills needed to fill those spots using a video game. Karen Morfitt live tonight, and Karen, they call it gamification? Yes, exactly, Kelly. And for gamers, it sounds like the perfect class. Everything about this program feels like a video game, from the different levels to earning badges. But what we learned today is it's so much more than a video game. I'm going to go over there. When business student Marcelo Sanchez signed up for an immersive cyber defense class, yeah, he thought it sounded fun. I was expecting a video game. I thought. Here I am, going to play some video games. That was only half of it. He and other students were using Project Ares, a gamified learning platform that teaches the skills needed to help protect and prevent a variety of cyber attacks. So they play against the computer. Laura Lee is a game designer for Circadence and now instructor for the class. Project Ares is like a virtual world. It can look like a city or a bank or organization. And we've built it that way with fake users and a fake internet. So it's a safe place that you can go in and practice cyber. Instead of homework, students are given missions, real world examples of attacks already seen in the community. So you can read about it all you want and you will fail miserably. Unless you've seen what a threat looks like, you don't know how to deal with it. For Sanchez, it was a tool that not only made learning exciting, but he says it made it memorable. It turned out to be much more than a video game, right? It turned out to be this platform for learning, for applying real skills in cybersecurity. Now, Sir Cadence, the company behind this platform, says you don't actually have to be part of the class to get involved with the program. We have more information if you want to learn more online at cbsdenver.com. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.